guys, Noah from Searchbug here. Going to demonstrate our new phone number and name append for bulk or batch services. You can upload up to 10,000 records here. Uh, 10,000 names, addresses, or just addresses to get names and phone numbers. If you want to know how much it's going to be, you can, it doesn't matter how big the file is, upload up to 10,000. If we find 3,000 of those 10,000, for example, it's still going to cost 462. If we find 5,000 of the 10,000, it's 712. It doesn't matter how many you upload up to 10,000. There's no charge if no name or phone is found. So uh, the best way to start is to just start with your list, first name, last name, address. Uh, put the suite in with the address if you have suites because you'll see when we upload it with a separate suite row, it, there's no way to, to define the suite number. So make sure the complete address is in the address column. We're going to save this as a tab delimited text file. So save as you see one of the selections is tab delimited. Go ahead and save it as tab delimited. Click save. Yes. Yes. And then we're done. We're going to click choose file. We're going to see our tab delimited text file there. Open it. And then when you click continue, it's going to process that and pull in your pull in your rows. Okay, so after you upload the file, and now I'm not sure of the first name and I don't want to use it because I might want to get more results at this address here. So if I only use the name and the address, it's only going to give me the phone number found for that name and address, but I want other names and phone numbers at that address. So I'm going to say do not use my the, the name part, just use the address. Don't use the suite because there is no suite, it has to be included. And you can't mix business names and first names and last names in the same file. Then you're going to tell it's a city, state, and zip, and then we're going to continue to the next step. Now it's going to tell us uh, that we uh, the maximum cost for the seven records, because we have a $5 minimum, uh, is $5. That's the maximum cost. But obviously you're going to upload more than uh, seven records if you use this system. Now. Uh, if I uploaded a lot more, there would be another option besides process now. It would say schedule processing, and that's because I uploaded over 3,000 records here, and I just uploaded phone numbers only to show you the difference. So in this screen, we're going to only append the name, which would be a business or person, whoever is associated with that phone number, as well as the street address, the city, state, and zip. We will not append phone numbers because we uploaded phone numbers. So that's the difference. Schedule processing and we uploaded phone numbers just to show you the variation. Which would be a good option if you had a, a lot of records. So if I click process my data now, it's uh, going to ask me to log in here and uh, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to be right back. Now you can see it says processing seven records, zero are done seven more to go and uh, we're gonna wait for that to finish you'll also notice that while it's processing I didn't have to enter my credit card because I have a prepaid balance which is shown up at the top here so it's just gonna deduct my fee from my account balance okay now once it's complete it shows it's all done it tells me the number of hits the hit ratio and that it took less than a minute to complete um, if I want to download the results I click on down the results uh, or I can optionally right click and use save as. So I'm just going to save them in a temporary directory. It's basically your file name with a, with a number after it which includes um, some information like the date and once I save this I'll show you what it looks like. Okay because I did it in a text delimited format it's going to give me the file back in a text delimited format and then when I try and open it up in Excel, it's going to say, all right, this is a delimited file. Tell me what it is. You would just open it like this and you would see the information. You just click next and the delimiters will automatically be placed in the tab column. So when you click next, it'll just say, this is the columns, then click finish. And then your file will open like so. And you'll see it has name one, name two, name three, uh, phone, name one, phone one, name two, phone two, etc telling you which fields we found which information on and uh, of course you can open your file up like that and then you see all your original information and that's it now if you can't find your report you can always click on my account here and then reports and then they'll be down here so you would just click your search type your reports down in the bottom there and um, you can open it up here